I know my skin might look a bit yellow, but that's just because I'm wearing purple lipstick. And I don't know if I'll ever do that again because it makes me like really yellow ish. Whatever. Hey guys, my name is Trudev and you're watching my video. So today I'm doing a Q&A and you asked me a lot of questions on Twitter and I also got three questions on my last Q&A video. So if you want to be my next Q&A video, just leave a comment below this one and just ask me a question and I will answer it in my next one. So let's just get right into the questions because I have a lot of them. Moni asks, how are you doing today? Well, actually, I was feeling kind of shitty because I had a really long exam and I was up studying till like 1am and I'm just dead. But then my hair dye I ordered came and also the lipstick came with it and so I'm happy now. Next question also from Moni is, how excited are you to see Against the Current again? Well, I do not know which words could describe my excitement but I'm like really excited and I don't even know what to wear or how I will do my hair or my makeup and all that stuff and it's just freaking me out I, I want to know and then she also asks and how excited are you to see me again well I'm so excited to see you again and I'm so excited to see all of you again who I'm going to the concert with so this will be so much fun then Fabriana asks, what's your favorite childhood memory? Well, it was definitely one of the holidays me and my family spent in Italy because I have memories way back to when I was two years old and like I remembered it because it was that beautiful so it was probably on the beach something. Then Anna asked, when will we meet again? Well, that depends. Like, when will you be around Vienna again? Because if you are, just, you know, text me, call me, whatever, and we can meet again. <laughs> Yay! Andre asks, how and when did you discover Against the Current? Okay, so, kind of from my sister, because she showed me the channel of Kurt Hugo Schneider, because she showed me, like, the mashup he did with Victoria Justice and so then I subscribed to Kurt Hugo Schneider and then I saw the heart attack cover he did with Chrissy and then I clicked on her channel because I thought her voice was so amazing and since then I'm a huge fan of Against the Current. Would you rather have piano keys for teeth or harmonica notes for nostrils? Well with piano keys for teeth you couldn't eat properly so I would pick the harmonica notes for nostrils. Also, I could be like really annoying and I love being annoying. Chris asks, which would be the perfect music collaboration? First, Chrissy Costanza and the one who should, who she should collaborate with. Wow, I really can't talk today. Uh, would be Thorsten Einerson, which is like an Austrian musician because his voice is just so amazing and his songs are just so amazing and I love him and like if you don't know who he is, which you probably don't because he isn't even that big in Austria. So just go in the description or like right here and check his music out because he's perfect and if Chrissy and he would collaborate, it would be perfect. Sarah May asks, if you could collab with any YouTuber, who would you pick? Well, if Chrissy Costanza counts as a YouTuber still, then definitely her because oh my god, we would have so much fun recording a video because I'm basically her and like, yeah, you know. I think this video is just more about me be obsessing over against the current than an actual current day, whatever. So, and if you don't think Chrissy is a YouTuber, then probably uh, Dan and Phil or Theo, which is a German YouTuber. So you probably also don't know him, but if you speak German, I will have him linked down. And Dan and Phil also, if you don't know them, but you should, like, they're amazing. Inimitable Vlogs asks, if you could choose any other country you could live in right now, which one? Well, that would probably still be Austria, because I just realized that the water quality in Austria is, like, really good compared to other countries and like the health system and everything and so I don't really want to leave Austria like forever. Then M. Helmi Fauci asks, what's the thing that makes you proud as an Austrian? There isn't really one specific thing that makes me proud as an Austrian, but just the fact that we are kind of tolerant, like 
in my school there is no such thing as like a dress code or you can dye your hair whatever color you want you can wear as much makeup as you want there nobody will say anything so like that's what i really like about austria because it, it isn't just in my school it's in most schools I don't know how to pronounce your username, I'm sorry. Ask, I'm a cool, I'm a cool. Just kidding. If you could travel to a particular country, where would it be? Well, as I just said, Australia and Spain are my two favorite travel to countries. But then also Mexico and like America. Then Mini Meza asks, where do you come from? Do you like there? Well, I just said, I come from Austria and I love it there. Then Harshgupta asks, one thing you love doing in your childhood? Well, I really love just being silly and a child and not having any responsibilities in life. Would you rather never speak again or say everything that comes into your head? Ask from Emily. <laughs> I forgot that like whatever um i would rather say everything that's on my mind because in my opinion honesty is like really important and if people would just talk to each other instead of not saying anything then maybe this world wouldn't have that many problems and i think if people would just talk things out there wouldn't even be war because you could just talk things out like seriously it's it's not that big of an issue so be honest to each other. Then Josh asks under my last video, um, what's your most hated TV show? Well, I don't really hate um, things like TV shows because that's just wasting time, but I really don't like the new uh, TV show The 100 and I don't like the TV show Sue because they're both just like, what the actual fuck, no thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I don't hate them actually. What's your favorite year and why? Well, that would probably be 2015 because I have met against the current and hugged Chrissy Cosette and she said she loved my outfit and I hugged Dan and Will and oh my god. And then I also met Owl last night and it was the best concert ever, which you can see here in this video. And then there were so many other concerts and I was in Munich and I was meeting my Twitter friends and going to a concert with them. And in summer I was on my first ever YouTube convention in Germany where I met a lot of YouTubers. And so like, yeah, that, that would be my perfect year. I don't know what could come come to top that but we'll see in 2016 and then do you watch friends yes i do sometimes when it's on tv but not like binge watch it so but i think it's cool and then melly v asks what disgusts you the most well as in food it would be milk or eggs and as in people it's just fake people what do you think of donald trump again from melly v well i don't really know much about him since i'm not really that interested in politics. I've heard that he's a douchebag, so I don't know. I also heard that he wants to build a wall uh, for separating the US and Mexico and he wants Mexico to pay for it, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Then there's also the question from Cheonia. I am so sorry if I pronounced it wrong. How often do you find yourself thinking about teleportation? Well, actually every time that I'm talking to like my internet besties, I'm just like, oh my god, how cool would it be if teleportation was a thing? Like I could just come over and we could have a pizza party. Oh, I could just come over and hug you when you're sad and things like that. So like once a week or something like that. Then there's also from Aaron Lee. What's one object you could not live without? Probably my computer over my phone because I could still live without a phone if I had my computer but then I would have to have a laptop that's as good as my computer so I could take it everywhere like my phone so basically a combination of my phone and my computer so yeah that were all the questions thank you so much for asking them like I got lots of questions and if there's anything else you want to know about me just leave it down in the comments and I will answer it and like there are two other videos you can watch don't forget to check out the description for all the links of people i mentioned in this video and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and yeah i will probably see you soon or rather soon or whatever i don't know 